Hello. I need to apologize for it being so long since my last post. I'm sorry. I didn't post because I was not on ideal protein. Honestly, it's just so expensive. I could have persevered through the temptation of eating other things, but I'm a student and I'm planning a wedding and it's just so expensive. It works. I'm not knocking it, but it is expensive. So I wasn't on the program. And I didn't think that I really should post because I wasn't on the program. I didn't really know what I would post. I guess just keep an update on what I was trying to do just to keep him fit. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't. And I'm sorry. To let you know a little bit about this video, it's a long one. And it's going to be long because I have a lot of catching up to do and I'm sorry I will try and get all my weight loss info in the first little bit packed in there so any of you that are just here to find out about the updates for weight you can hear all that and then peace out okay um so it wasn't on deal protein I had Christmas and New Year's and lots of snack foods <laughs> and everything in between so I did gain back weight, not surprisingly. I kind of thought that I was going to gain back all 20 some pounds that I had lost on Ideal Protein because I started at 222 and then I got down to 203. Excuse me. So with all of my eating habits for the holiday season, I really expected to have shot back up to at least 222. Um, I didn't. Yay! <laughs> um, I went from 203 to 212. So 9 pounds. Um, not so bad. Not so good, but not so bad. And I heard through the grapevine of another protein product distributor whose products are literally half the price of Ideal Protein and some family friends are doing it and they're getting the same results. So I compared the products, compared the results, it all seemed pretty par. So I figured why not? I mean, it's half the price. I budgeted, checked all the finances and for the same cost of all this protein food that's going to be my meal replacements is the same amount that I would be spending on groceries. So really, it was a win-win. Well, more like a win nothing because I wasn't out any money and I wasn't saving any money. It was just, I was getting the protein products. So I ordered some and I started it on Valentine's Day, which was very ambitious of me <laughs> because Valentine's Day is full of chocolates and candy and those yummy little heart jube jubes that I love so very much. And I knew there would be lots of treats, especially at classes. But I'm so sorry, I'm tired. Um, but I considered it and I thought about waiting until the 15th to start. But did I really need an extra day full of all the junk food to work off in the end? Mm, no. So I started on Valentine's Day. And I feel proud of myself for it, obviously. <laughs> um, it's been um, 10 days, 11, no, yikes, um, yeah, 11 days since I started it, this protein well, and uh, I started at 2.12, and I had to post a video today because for the first time in over a year, and for the second time in my adult life, I am out of the 200s. I am officially 198.5 pounds and in Wonderland.
For those of you not familiar with the term, that's in the 100s. So I'm in Wonderland and loving it. And uh, I thought that I better show you a video of how my Wonderland body is looking. By the way, I will show you this and then any of you that want to, or just here to figure out, find out about the weight loss, um, have an awesome week. And for those of you that want to stick around, hear about what's going on in my life and wedding plans, please do. I have a fantastic story to tell. So, okay, here we go with the body shot. All right, here we go. Uh, I got rid of those super big um, swim shorts because they weren't really showing my body. And I was inspired by all the other weight loss warrior women who are bearing it all for the sake of their weight loss and their blogs. So I thought I should do the same and give you a fair image of what my body's progressing. Okay. So there's an improvement. I think. I see it. I don't know if you do. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but I feel good, so who cares? I think everything just kind of looks smoother. So that's okay. Do a quick back shot so you can kind of see more. It went quick, I mean quick, because I don't really like it. Okay. So there's still lots more to work on, but look at that. Okay. <sighs> Feels good. So that's my weight, and I will keep you updated on how it's going. I promise. So for those of you that were just going to check in on my weight, bye-bye. Thanks for coming. For those of you that want to stick around and hear the fantastically amazing story, here we go. Ah, that was a little crazy, sorry. Um, wedding plans are coming along great. Um, stressful, but isn't every bride stressed out? And uh, the big exciting story is about my dress and that I finally have it. In a way. <laughs> um, I flew back to Calgary to have one last go at looking at dresses in person, trying them on, and if nothing really hit me, then I was going to just order one offline, off online, off the internet, <laughs> and uh, make alterations to it as I needed to. And that had to get ordered like immediately because, you know, I had to get alterations done. And who knows if it would fit me, who knows if it would even get here. It was really just a kind of stressful situation. But I couldn't afford like a $1,500 dress even, or heavens knows more than that. Um, so I didn't have very high hopes going to Calgary and uh, looking for a dress because I kind of, I don't know, I found a dress that I kind of liked in Edmonton and it was only $750. So I was gonna get it, but then my sister talked me out of it because, you know, I'd said it's beautiful and I feel awesome in it and it has a lot of the features that I want. It doesn't have everything I want. It's not everything I expected, but at this point it will do because it's $750. Um, but she said, why are you settling? Don't settle. It's your dress. It's your day. We'll find something better. Don't buy it. And so I didn't. Um, yeah, so I kind of have this, this image in my mind, what I wanted, and I'm definitely willing, was willing to, uh, not have everything that I wanted on my dress because it's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, so I had an open mind going into Calgary and our first appointment that we had booked was at this designer, um, and it was only because of my mom and um, some people that she knows that are getting their dresses done through this designer that we went and I knew like I do not have the money to get a custom made designer gown but at the same time it was kind of just kind of like a fun wedding experience one of those things you just do uh, because you have the opportunity to and you are only going to be a bride once so we went and uh, it was very exciting and I was kind of explaining what I wanted in a dress and the elements that I wanted 
and like most brides this year because it's super popular since uh, the Duchess of Cambridge brought it in. I wanted lace on my dress and it's gorgeous and I just love lace. So I was uh, telling her this, explaining what kind of lace I liked without giving too much away. And she directed me, well, she, she had this like glowing moment and I was like, what? And she's like, oh, I don't know if I should tell you because there's this beautiful lace in this little fabric store across Calgary and uh, it's out of your price range but it sounds like exactly what you want. So she said to go look at it, and if I really liked it, that we could make it work somehow. So my mom and my sister and I drove across Calgary, found this little family run fabric store, looking around. My sister sees it first and she's like, that's the lace she's talking about. I look over, oh my goodness, it is beautiful. I can't describe how it looks because I wanted to be a surprise, but it's gorgeous. And it was way beyond my expectations. And I really, really, really wanted it. So, um, talked to the sales lady about it. Turns out it's from Paris and you can only get it in this one little store in Western Canada, her store, um, unless you order it directly from the fabric manufacturer. Um, yeah, so I got it. <laughs> um, it was $300 for the lace, for all the lace for my dress. And then I got another um, swatch of fabric to make the rest of the dress out of. It was a silk satin. And um, then I started to panic a little bit because my maximum price for a dress was, my, this was my maximum because every penny counts. My maximum was going to be a thousand because I figured if I ordered a dress offline for about $400, then it got here and had to do alterations on it um, and that would cost a few hundred dollars. So I thought that'd be about $700. So the maximum I would spend for a dress that I already pre-loved would be a thousand. Anyways, I spent $800 just on the fabric. And then I started to panic because I didn't know what I was going to do about how much this designer was going to charge me to uh, design my dress and for all the labor involved in making it. <sighs> I told you it was a long story. Okay. So I called her and I kind of said how I was panicking and that I spent $800 on the fabric and how much was she planning on charging for designing and labor for the dress. And she said that she had been thinking about it after I left and that as long as I would consent to allowing her to borrow the dress for one fashion show after my ceremony, that she would do it for free. Hello, that's amazing, so amazing, um, fantastic. I couldn't be more excited and uh, I was thrilled. So of course I said yes. And this fashion show that she happens to be taking my dress to is in New York, which I just think is the bee's knees, the cat's meow. Um, I don't know what other analogies there are, <laughs> but I'll use them all. And uh, I'm excited for it. So I took the fabric back to her and she was excited over it and she said she's just so thrilled to be making this dress and she knows it's gonna be gorgeous. She said by the time that she finishes the dress, it will end up being at least a $5,000 gown. Yeah. So that in itself is an amazingly fantastic, happy ending story for me. Um, but then I was asking how many times I'm going to need 
to fly into Calgary to get alterations and fitting, not alterations, but fittings done, or maybe alterations for this dress, because that can add up. Um, and I said how, well, she said I had to be there for like four fittings. So then I said how I uh, am on a weight loss program. And then I'm worried that every time I go to uh, try on a, or try the dress on or get my measurements taken, that I was going to be smaller and smaller and keep messing up her, her work. So she told me that she would book off a whole week just to work on my dress and leave it until a month before the wedding so that we're not going to have to do alterations. I can lose as much weight as I want first. And is that not amazing? I'm so thrilled with this development. Uh, my mom cried, my sister cried, I cried, the designer cried, okay? We were a happy little bunch. <laughs> um, and I'm super excited to see how the dress turns out after the wedding. I'll probably post pictures so that you can see too. <sighs> so I hope that that story was worth the wait because I'm excited. Anyways, uh, life is good. Hope things going good for you guys, and I will check back in with you next week. Hello.